Photoshop has added a new feature, a star tool. It's now interactive as well. This is for PC or Mac. Okay, where is it, the star tool? Well, if you just go down over here to the tools panel, you can see the star here. Before, it was in the polygon tool. Now, you've got it here as a star tool, a separate tool. But, if you don't see it, just go down here. You've got three dots here. And you can then click there and you can then edit the toolbar and edit the toolbar, bring in the star. So if you haven't got it, you can bring it in that way. You need the latest version of Photoshop. So with that, you've got the star tool. And let's just go back to the star tool here. Let's just select that and then star tool. OK, I'm just going to add it as a shape. So apply it as a shape and you can see you get something like that. Now, the shape you get will probably be different. But what you can do now, you've got these interactive controls. You've got this little here. And you can go, just drag this down, number of points, 10, 4. You can just drag it up and down. Then it goes down to a certain point, 20. That's it. And you can go down all the way down to 3. So you can just see, you can modify interactively very quickly like that. Also, you can modify this. And you can just drag this radius. And you can drag it out there to create, again, some interesting stars. Super quick using that. Or go over here and use it various round in there, and you can modify that. All the settings are here. So as you change it here, you can see it changes there. And exactly the same for this as well. So if you go up and down like this, it will also change there. Number of points, 13, etc. And you can see the width also changes slightly as well when you do it. So that's an interactive feature that's now in Photoshop. But again, you can just do it there just as easy. Just delete that. What you can also do, you can add it as a shape, like that one, or you can go to pass. You can add it as a pass, and you can do exactly the same thing. So you can modify all the settings, and then you can use this maybe as a selection. You can convert it very quickly in selection, window, and go to pass. So in pass, you can see there you've got your work pass. Right click, and you can then make a selection. So you can make some interesting star-like or flower-like designs very quickly in this Photoshop new tool. And let's just click OK. And you've got that. Now, you can't modify this, obviously. You can't interactively change that. And let's select, deselect. What you can also do is you can go again with the star tool. You can go here and pixels. Now, the pixels, it will use the settings here. And as soon as you apply it, that's what you get. So there's no interactive feature there. So you have to just change it and you can just increase it. Say you want 20 and you want to change this and you want to change the settings there and then apply it. So it's, unless you're exactly sure the star you're going to create, it's a bit of hit and miss. So you might find you're not happy with it and then simply just undo. And then you can go over here again, the star tool, maybe change the color. So let's just click there and go for say, pink and then maybe add another one maybe change this setting and then apply it again and you can see then you can create a variety of different designs super quick with this new star tool in photoshop of course the star if you use it here as a shape it's flexible you can use it as a custom shape so you've got this design you can always then save it as a custom shape you can also use it as a source for brushes and much much more so it's a great new feature of Photoshop. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions and thoughts about the new star tool, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.